this is Glendon Cameron, and I'm going to give you a few tips on something that everybody wants to know about, which essentially is how do you start a business with little to no money? It's very, very easy, but it's the application that creates a problem. Let me break it down for you so it's been forever broken. Number one, forget about rating your credit cards, forget about rating your 401k, and really concentrate on the most important thing possible, which is, does your business idea work? You need to do that first. I've seen people spend $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, a month on rent on an office. They didn't even need two, three, four, five, six months in advance before they even realized if the product or the service was wanted by the public. What you do is you ball your ideal down to the most simplest, rawest level. Do, uh, give you an example. I started my company, Conundrum Publishing, 2009, July 17th. I remember the day very clearly. Without a penny, I actually started writing. I created an ebook. And I'll tell you, my hosting fees and domain names were my most significant outlay of cash for the first year. It was the most significant outlay, $187. That was it. And the thing is, I put together the book. I did the marketing. What many people are avoiding is the hard work. The reason they want to have like tons of money is so it's like, hey, I can hire people to do shit I don't want to do. I'm going to tell you, you need to do the shit that you don't want to do. You need to learn how to sell. You need to learn how to prospect. You need to learn how to market. You need to know how to do that. So when you do get to the level of hiring people, you will know if they're bullshitting you or not. When you just have a lot of money and you go out and start building your business, a lot of money hides blind spots and deficiencies because you can spend past it. And many companies that should have never, ever reached a certain level did because they received wicked venture funding capital because the idea essentially sucked. You see the, the internet littered with companies like this. The deal is, step one, come up with your ideal. Okay? Number one, come up with your ideal. Number two, put that ideal into action as soon as you can. Give you an example. I have a friend who makes jewelry. This is what she started to do. She started making jewelry, and she would give it to her friends. And then people were like, oh, girl, that's so nice. I would pay you for it. And she was talking to me, and you know, she was making it. I said, okay, this is what you do. You start asking people for money. It's like, what do I charge? And one of the biggest mistakes she made was, well, I figured 10 bucks. And I said, well, does it cost you 10 bucks to make the unit? Because the thing is, you have to figure out your, your time, your material, your cost of labor. All these little things go into building a price. But that's a whole other video. And essentially... She went ahead and started doing it, and she started hosting parties. And within a year, in a year, she was making three grand a month from her jewelry business. She's not on the internet. She's not on the internet. All this has been word of mouth. Because with the internet, people seem to forget there's a big world out there. There's, there's so, most commerce activity happens off of the internet. I know the internet's big. There's a lot of businesses that are being there. And as we move forward, it's going to change. But right now, and I want you to take this number, e-commerce, and that's Amazon, eBay, every website that you know of represents 8 to 10% of all commerce. So there's a lot of opportunities offline. So take your business. Do it. Put it together. If you have to knock on doors, if you have to talk to strangers, I mean, and that's also going to vet out something else. If this is something that's really important to you, or is it just a whim? Because if you are afraid to talk to another human being to sell your product, your service, your, your dream, whatever, it's really not a dream. It's a whim. It's, it's bullshit. That's what it is. Because anyone can say, I have a dream. But the people who actually say, I have a dream, and I'm going to get up, and I'm going to work on it each and every day. Those are the people who are successful. That's how you become successful. So you can start a business without a penny and earn your way up into revenue. I've done it on several businesses. Storage auction business, same way. 
It came from inventory and stuff that I had around the house. I mean, there, there's so many ways to do this. But understand, it's the best way to do it. Because one, your savings, your money's not at risk. You, you just take the money that the business bills and recycle that money inside the business until it gets to a point where it can throw off cash. But that's the thing. It takes discipline. It takes tenacity. It takes you being real. So that's how you start a business with absolutely no money down. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron. Check out my new webinar series. Manage your money or your money will manage you. This is a different kind of webinar. Links below. Check it out. December 19th, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you there.